Someone once said that writing is easy. Good writing, however, is hard work. No one knows that better than St. Louis and Jack Orchard. It was only after he lost the use of his arms and legs and his ability to speak that he became a writer. And as you're about to find out, he started writing to make a difference. Apparently, courage is never disabled. The eyes are never silent. With just a glance, they can say a lot. And they are Jack Orchard's voice. For me, the worst part is that I can't put my arms around the people I love. The 40-year-old Orchard has amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or Lou Gehrig's disease. It took away his ability to walk and talk, and there is no cure. But using something called the eye gaze communication system, Jack can operate a computer and synthesize speech. I can't imagine how people with ALS survived without something like this even 10 years ago. Before his world was turned upside down, he was doing the same to the world. Orchard had an economics degree from Harvard, an MBA from Stanford, and he was jetting back and forth from Russia as an investment banker. When he was diagnosed in 2002, he was told that he had three to five years to live and there was nothing he could do about it. But Jack Orchard did do something about it. Well, every day when he gets up, as soon as he's up and ready, he's at his computer. Shortly after his diagnosis, Orchard founded his own nonprofit organization, Extra Hands for ALS. You're going to the armrest mm -hmm. and you're going to lift it back. He recruited college and high school students, like 17 year old Chelsea Carter, who volunteer to help ALS patients and their families on a weekly basis. We assist them with chores. Um, laundry, we sometimes do yard work, we may babysit, running errands, um, things that seem minimal but can make a huge impact on a family. Do you want to give some more kisses? Starting his charity was like a lifeline and it pulled Jack out of the darkness. When I came out of that tunnel and launched extra hands for ALS, I lost all of the pain of my condition. Ready to go? His passion for life and helping others also turned into a pathway to love. I emailed him and went and met him at his office, and immediately we had a great connection. And to make things more complicated. 27-year-old Kristen Williamson was looking to raise money for a charity that helped patients with ALS after her best friend's father died of the disease. I just really admired how he didn't let anything go. You know, he really lived in the moment and made the best of his life. He can't speak, he can't use his hands, and yet Jack Orchard has this positive attitude. Someone should write a book on how he does it except they'd be too late. Jack already did. He's able to type 35 words a minute just by looking at the control keys on his monitor. And determination helped him succeed where so many able-bodied people have failed. I decided to do it because I had found a way to give myself some peace through my work on my charity, Extra Hands for ALS, and I wanted to share my discovery. And Jack hopes his book called Extra Hands, Grasping for a Meaningful Life, has lessons for everybody. The overall message is everyone can make a difference in someone's life. You know, everyone's life can be meaningful. You just have to find what that is and do it. That was a fun night. We were like the last people out of Riverport. And it turns out the eyes can sometimes paint a better picture than a paintbrush. When my time comes, I would like to be surrounded one way or another by the people who have meant so much to me, who have shaped my life. Stop that. The future, of course, is never guaranteed. And while he's not expecting to be here even a year from now, Jack Orchard says he'll make the most of whatever time he has left. And for any of us, those are words to live by. But there is so much left to do. So for now, back to work. The book, Extra Hands, Grasping for a Meaningful Life, is available at the Webster Groves Bookshop. People who read the bestseller Tuesdays with Maury tell me Jack's first-person account touched them in a similar way. You can also help Extra Hands by participating in their costume fun run on May the 3rd. And for more information, we can link you to their website when you click on this story on our website at ksdk.com. And as always, if you have a unique positive story, let me know at mbush at ksdk.com.